Hello, how are you? Today I'd like to share on how you want to set goals, specifically how to set long-term and short-term goals. And if you want to stick around to get to the tea today, I have a wonderful tea that is an awesome replacement if you're ready to ditch the coffee and get a good kind of coffee-ish flavor and to help your liver detox, this tea can do it all. So stick around to the end. So let's go back to, uh, to goals. For some of you, the word goals may sound so much like work and you're kind of over it. And so one of the th uh, words that you might choose instead is the word intentions. What are your intentions for your health and for your well-being? And the first step I would recommend is that you think about your long-term vision. I just had an awesome conversation with one of our excellent health coaches the other day. Um, and Lisa was telling me that a really good question that you might want to ask yourself is, how do I look like at my best self? And so when you ask yourself this question, think about all different aspects of your life. How do you want to look like at your best self as a mom, as a dad, as the spouse, as a leader in your company, or as you know, a socialite within your community? Whatever that may be, just think about the different personas that you might play and the different interactions you have in life. So that is obviously a vision you want to hold on to and you want to write down and you want to look at it as often as you can. But the next step is for you to start thinking about your short-term goals. Short-term goals could be anywhere three, six months, not anything longer than that. So on your short-term goals, um, which may be, for example, you want to start um, moving, get really active at least four times a week for 30 minutes. And so you may hear already here now that the concept of SMART goals comes into play and I suspect that you have heard about that abbreviation from the business world. SMART is an abbreviation where the S stands for specific, so you really want to get detailed. The M stands for measurable, meaning you want to be able to say, I have achieved this because I know I have been now you know, moving and being active four times a week for 30 minutes. SMA, the A stands for attainable. Is this really something that you're feasible, able, feasibly able to do? Uh, the R stands for relevant. So look back at your long-term vision. Does your short-term goal really feed that long-term vision or is it straying you off of that long-term vision? And then the T stands for time bound. So you want to put some parameters around it uh, within the next two weeks, within the next month, uh, whatever the time frame is that feels comfortable, that you can attain your goal as well. So then let's just say you have that vision ahead of you. You want to break this down into much smaller steps. And the only step that's really important is the first one. So if we come back to the example of wanting to you know, move and get active at least four times um, a week for at least 30 minutes, your first step may be to research all of the different workout facilities within a five mile radius around your house. And you might say you're going to look at least at one yoga studio, at one dance studio and at one gym, whatever the list is for you. And that based on your research that you will decide to take one um, session at any of these facilities. So that might be your first step. But again, you want to get smart um, around these sh uh, shorter term goals as well. So I hope this was helpful. I do want to come back to this tea today though. So it is, I know you're not going to like this. It sounds awful, but I love the taste. It's actually called dandelion, dandelion root, your weeds in the garden, the roots of that tea. And here's just one example that you can buy online. They come roasted and that's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like this nutty, uh, coffee-ish kind of flavor. And apparently dandelion root is one of the best ways for you to detoxify your liver. So I've been enjoying this tea now for a month or so, I'm trying to get my liver in check. Not that there's any issue with that, but you know, the liver is one of the most important organs that we have to really detoxify our body. And by the amount of stuff that we consume either through our mouth or through our skin or by inhaling, um, taking care of our liver is absolutely important. So I'm going to say cheers to you. Go ahead and start setting your goals or even better, give us a call and we can help you do all of that together in collaboration. Have a good day. Bye.